Hey everybody, it's Dan from UMedia Chicago giving you another Pixlr tutorial and today we're going to be talking about layers. Now, layers are something that's super important. It's maybe something that we already should have discussed in this tutorial relationship we're having. It's kind of like, you know, do you or do you not want to have kids? It's, it's kind of on that level of importance, but you know, we're, we're going to talk it out now. We're going to get through this. Hopefully you guys stick with me. So let's say in this example we're creating a rock flyer like you see at the top here. I'm just going to pull up a picture of 21 Pilots, the best band of all time. And then just another picture we've got here in the, in the stacks of uh, me, just kind of ready to go for the concert. As you can see, I'm wearing the latest styles and trends. Going to fit right in with all these young rock and rollers. So we're going to start out, I'm just going to hit Command A to select all and uh, copy and paste our picture of 21 Pilots into our background here for the flyer. Just gonna go into a free transform here and do a quick adjustment of the size so I get it to the where I want. Then I'm gonna head to my picture here and use the magic wand tool to select the background. Now let's say I wanted to add on to that selection. If I hit shift, see that plus mark that shows up underneath the wand? Hold down shift and click, and then it'll add whatever you're currently hovering over to the selection you've already made. So I can just hold down shift and kind of go around this picture on the outside and try to take out all the background by adding on to the selection and clicking until I get to that to a point where I think it's pretty much covered. And yeah, I'm just gonna do our classic invert selection so only myself is selected. Copy and then uh, paste myself over onto the flyer here. And yeah, some of you might be thinking, yeah, it looks great, flyer's already done, but there's probably some more work we could do to make this look a little cleaner and keep the focus, you know, where it belongs, so. If you look over here on the right, this is the layers section where we talk about. You'll see we have three layers here, layer two, layer one, and then the background image. So each of the pictures you can see, I am layer two, the band is layer one. Now, an easy way to visualize this might be the idea of uh, paper crafts. So let's visualize the background as this yellow sheet of paper here. And then we'll add this layer of the concert going on, 21 Pilots concert, and then I will be layer two on top of that. That's the green picture here. So you can see you got all three layers. And if I had just layer one selected, and I go to move it around, it only moves layer one. It doesn't move anything else in the photo. Just like in the paper crafts, if I were to try to move this layer around. God, see, this is why I hate paper crafts. It just... All right, let's try this again. So if I were to just move around this one layer, see, it doesn't really move anything else. Got it, perfect. A nice thing about layers is if I want to focus on just one, I can click here and hide that layer. And now it's kind of gone away so I can work on it. Boom. And there, I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm just going to do some erasing here with the brush. I'm, I've got the hardness down so it'll give us that uh, feathered look again. And I've got the diameter turned up pretty big. So we can get a nice sweeping eraser here. And I'm just going to speed up this erasing for the sake of time for the video. But yeah, I'm just going to take out the background here, kind of make it look like they're glowing a little bit. All right, now let's say we wanted to add back in my layer. What I want to do here is rearrange, you see how I'm on top and kind of covering everything up. We're going to change the order of the layers by clicking and dragging my layer downward. So I click and pull it there. All of a sudden, i um, behind the band. See, in my pictures, in the background there. See, we've done it. Just change the order and one, two, three, I'm back where I belong. So now if I wanted to go in and kind of erase this, if you notice it's not erasing the band or anything because I only have layer two selected, so it's only gonna interact with that layer. Can make a little adjustment here, and now the rock god is presiding over the concert. Another function you might find useful is the opacity, which you can get to by clicking this button down here. And this slider will adjust how transparent your uh, photos appear. Let's say you wanted like a a ghostly rock god kind of in the background there you could turn that down this is nice for different uh, types of like effects on photos and flyers things you don't want to appear fully in the background you can change the sliders also let's say I wanted to make an adjustment to the bottom half of me here and get like a little bit more of a precise eraser there where it needs to be you can adjust the opacity of the layer you're not currently working with to see where you need to make oh see I messed up there I gotta select the right layer always select the right layer I can make that adjustment here with the opacity down so I can see what I'm doing. And then if I go back to that layer and turn it back up, we know exactly where we've erased to, which is convenient. So anything you do to add on to your photo will also just create a new layer. Let's say we want to make a little text box here with some text for our flyer. 
seeing the layers thing on the right there, it automatically made our new text box its own layer, which can be moved around and adjusted and changed just like all the other layers. You can kind of position it how you want. And that's basically it for layers. So as I mentioned before, I think the most convenient thing is if you select one layer, it only affects that layer with any changes you want to make. So you can kind of separate your effects out. So yeah, thanks for sticking with me, rockers. Uh, stay tuned. This summer, I'll be dropping uh, my new album, Lazy River Road. It's kind of the perfect like poolside album. So yeah, just keep an eye out for that, and I'll see you next time.